Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of outcasts break through the gates in the final minutes and capture the Reekwater Keep. KOTT News were in Far Harbor when the Zealots won and spoke to them en route to City Hall. Congratulations on your victory here in Reekwater into the fort and then in the final moments taking it down through the B-Gate. Would you care to take us through the decision making that got you in there and got the flag captured? Oh yeah, absolutely, John. Well, being the shot caller tonight, um, I had a lot of pressure on me. Definitely um, going against Apples. He's a very well-renowned shot caller himself, so it was a battle of the shot callers tonight. And uh, with all humility, John, I have the army behind me to take control of the space and the places that we need to take control of. You know, it's that composition and the people who uh, listen to the comms who really make the, all the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and give the credit to them. I think uh, we played smart. Uh, we just played a little bit better in our timing. We actually had the point to 99%. Uh, I called a 50-50 dice roll to get everyone in. And uh, they end up wiping us on respawn. So props to them for making an extended, giving themselves a second chance. But um, in the end, we, uh, we played smarter and harder. And uh, we turned out the victors today. Excellent. You mentioned a couple of people, but you didn't give them uh, any name. Anybody in particular that you might want to credit tonight who stood out in their performance? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you already know the answer to that one. Panda Uchiha, always number one. So um, he's still around somewhere. I don't know what, what land he's running off to, but without him, we're nothing. So, yeah, gang shit. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent work by the Invasion Response Squad last night, defending all four regions flawlessly and leaving today carefree for chores. But lest you forget their tireless efforts, volunteers should sign up to defend the Hamlets in Greyvale and Pridewind tonight. Another submission for Simulated Fantasy Combat Resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. With special thanks to the Craft Services crew, if you'd like to support KOTT News, Patreon is currently the best way. Tonight, the Syndicate members of PK Warband assail the Marauders of Gorilla Town for control of the secondary oil reserves of Cutlass Keys. PK Warband, with the late night submission on the heels of the dramatic exchange in Reekwater, perhaps strategizing to catch the Marauders deflated and off guard. Gorilla Town's once expanding empire has been reduced to the mosh pit, so unless they want to become a group of nomadic attackers, they'll have to defend against this returning foe. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.